All right, everybody, we're gonna be doing something a little different. This is like a bedtime story. So grab a hot chocolate, a blanket, use it to go to sleep. Anyways, let's get into the story. Yoda wakes up and coughs slightly. Feeling the collar and chain on him, he sighs as he tries to adjust the collar. Oh, you're awake, Pennywise said. Did you sleep well? He gasps slightly and looks away from his kidnapper. Guess I do. That's good. He fidgets slightly. Unlock the chain, can you? Shower I need to have. He keeps looking away. I can smell the fear from you. Yes, I can. Unlocks the chain. Go take your shower. He takes a deep breath as he stands up with a bit of a shake. He slowly makes his way to the bathroom and turns on the shower. He lets out a sigh. Fear. Wrong fear is. He gets in and lets out another sigh. This is just like my parents. What happened to them? Eat me soon, he is. He turns the water onto warm and begins to shower. Pennywise knocks on the door. How was your shower? He asked in a kind and caring voice. He gasps as he hits the wall of the shower. Good it is. He wipes a tear from his face, but he sighs. Oh, okay. Sorry if I startled you. <laughs> I will leave you to it then. Pennywise retreated to the cistern to relax for a while. Fine it is. He finishes up quickly, brushes his hair. He looks at the pink collar and pulls it slightly. He wraps his purple towel and walks into his bedroom. Pennywise decides he's going to be nice for once and see if he wants food. So he starts making his way up to his room. He sits up with the towel on him as he stands up and stretches a little bit. Pennywise is Pennywise is up the stairs out of the basement now. He is now getting close to your door. He takes off his towel and goes to the wardrobe with his clothes inside. He stands in front of his clothes so only his leg can be seen. Hello. Don't be scared. I'm not coming in. I just had a question. He gasps slightly. He goes to his bed and puts on the cover and then says, Come in, you you can. Oh, okay. Comes in. Are you okay? I just came to ask if you wanted anything to eat. <clears throat> he moves again slightly to get comfortable. Fine, I am. Food. Food sounds good right now. Oh, where from? Mean, I will. He clears his throat. Somewhere in Derry we could go. He moves again. The quilt moves slightly, showing off more of his leg. He, however, looks at the quilt when he spoke. Oh, okay. We can do that. Get ready before we leave, okay? He nods his head. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to my cavern for a minute. I will. I will be back. Be ready. <clears throat> okay. Pennywise leaves and shuts his door on the way out. He sighs as he stands up and chooses some clothes. He chooses a purple crop top and a red jumper and some dark blue denim jeans with some rips and some candy cane socks. Leave my shoes, where did I? He got dressed and began to look for his Converse shoes. Pennywise telepathically tells him they're in the bathroom. He looks under the bed and finds them. Quietly, he says, mm, Thanks. No problem. <laughs> he puts them on and walks over to the broken mirror. He brushes his hair. 
You can do this. Food it just is. Damn it. My trick didn't work. He sat back on the bed and fixed his shoes, and he went to open the door, but then stopped. <sighs> he walked back to the wardrobe, and he closed it, and then he locked it. Penny was just waiting at the front door when she when he got there. He walks out and goes down from the front door to see Pennywise in his human form. Hello, you ready? He stays silent for a few seconds. Looks like this is as a human? Yes, it is. He, he, what do you think? He clears his throat. Look good, you definitely do. He didn't say what he was really thinking. Okay, let's get you something to eat. We leave the house. We began to walk into Derry, and I see uh, the fair. Remember the last time I cannot that I've been to one. He smiles to himself. You want to go see it? <clears throat> if you want to. We can. Let's go. I smile and hug you. Thank you. I quickly let you go. Uh, sorry. No problem. It's okay. Let's go to the fair. We walk over, over to the fair. If anyone asks, my name is Bob Gray. All the lights show off as we walk in. Many children scream in joy and fear from the rides. So cool this is. Pennywise starts drooling from all the fear. <laughs> Sorry, I lost control of myself. Eat a child you can after we are finished. Oh, okay, I'm surprised you're okay with me eating kids. What do you want to do first at the fair? I look at you with the most serious of faces. Never will I be okay with eating children. A joke it was. I walk off to a hot dog stand. Oh, okay, I said quietly. <clears throat> then I remember that I have a shock collar on my neck. Oh no, I've arrived at the stand. Don't worry, no one won't be able to see the collar, just me and you. Even worse, that is. I order some food. And I give the cash to the guy. What did you get to eat? Candy floss. Popcorn. Nothing massive. I take a piece of popcorn and eat it. Forgot how good this is. I did. I love popcorn. Can I have a piece? Mm. Gives you the bucket of popcorn. Thanks. Takes one, then gives it back. I begin to eat it again, when I see the ferris wheel and I look at you. Come to the ferris wheel with me, you will. Yes, that should be fun, let's do it. I grabbed your hand, and we go to the wheel. We got onto the wheel and it started going up. I, I asked, so why are you here in Derry? Planning to go around America, I was. Derry was just one stop. Elsewhere I will not be going. For a while. I smile and look over the town of Derry. So beautiful it is here. You know, I'm a nice person. I'm just doing what I have to do to survive. Act nice you do, like what you're doing now. Cannot one day I go without you coming. Because think you run away, I will. Collar on me, you put this. So when I'm out of place, you hurt me. And chain me, you do. Even when I do not listen, you fear me, you do. You eat fear later. Fear and children feed you. A tear falls down my face. Go back, I want to. To the house. After this ride is over. I'm sorry. I have no plans to kill you. I just wanted a friend because I'm lonely. 
No one wants to be my friend. Now I can see why. The ride had stopped as I got off, but didn't move. I turned to you and gave you a hug. Sorry, I am. Shouldn't have said those things. It's okay. Now I understand why you don't like me. Do you still want to go back to the house? The noise is giving me a headache. Okay, we can come back tomorrow. Let's go home. We start to walk home. I throw the popcorn away. However, I keep the candy floss without knowing. I hold onto your hand as we walk. You have a family. Tonight, if you promise to try not to escape, I won't chain you up. I'll let you sleep in your own bed. No chains. Also, which form do you prefer me in? Human form or human clown form? I sigh with a smile. Thank you. Have a family, I do. My gran isn't alive anymore. Both of your forms I like. Why not, if at the house we are, you are a clown? And if we are out human, you can be. Maybe. I then notice I'm holding your hand and quickly let go with a bit of a blush. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. I didn't notice you were holding my hand. It's okay. Don't be shy. I blush again, so I walk a little bit in front of you. We arrive at the house. So what now? What are you going to do? Read a book I might. Sort out my room. Draw. Read one of those medical books. I shrug my shoulders slightly. Okay, that sounds fun. Let me know if you need anything. Wait, you draw. Can you draw me? Do or do not. There is no try. So do I will. I walk up to the house. Okay, thanks. No one has ever drawn me before. I can't wait to see what it will look like. I look back at you. Be a model for me, you could. Okay, I can do that. Should you draw me in your room? Five hours it took. Complete drawing is. Can I see? That's a really good drawing. I love it. I love it. What now? Carefully, I tore it out and handed it to him. Thank you so much. It's getting kind of late. We should probably go to sleep. Well, I'll leave you alone to settle down if you want. Good, that sounds. Well, I will leave you to it. Good night. If you need me, I'll be in the cistern. Pennywise leaves. I begin to get dressed into my pajamas that look rather sexual in nature. Drinks! Wonder if he has any. I walk out into the dark hallway, which was rather dark. Boo! Ha 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 ha! Did I scare you? Ooh. Why? My heart began to beat fast as I breathed. A bit fast. But I stood up and breathed. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a joke. I didn't mean to scare you that bad. I'm sorry. No, no. Bad it wasn't. A strap from my pajamas came down my arm. Okay it is. Um, um, you're, um, uh, your strap. I see it on my arm and I pull it up. Then a small gust of wind comes through the house and causes my laced dress pajamas to go up slightly to reveal my laced panties slightly. However, I didn't notice. Mm, cold, that is. Um, <laughs> um, I saw you were, um... I look at you like nothing happened. Okay it is if I get drink. Haven't had one today. Yes, you can, I said awkwardly. I left. I left and went into the basement. I go back into the cavern. I go to the fridge as I turn super red from embarrassment. Oh, God, my. Believe that happened, I cannot. So hard it was not to lose my cool. As Pennywise got ready to go to sleep, <coughs> he thought, What the fuck just happened? Was that real? Did I actually see her?
I sigh as I get a drink of orange juice and sigh again. Mm. This day keeps getting worse. Or weirder it does. Pennywise thinks to himself, It's been a long and exciting day. I should go to sleep. Hey guys, um, sorry for the super random story. This was an adaptation of a weird fan fiction me and my friend found on the internet. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, <clears throat> this is just part one. There's a whole other part to this story that you guys haven't even seen yet. We did change some of the characters, like Yoda, because it was an original character, and that would have been kind of... Should, should, I, should I tell him about... Should I tell him a sneak peek about the next episode? No. Okay. But yeah, we just thought it would be... Uh, identifying people too much if we didn't change it to Yoda. So yeah, uh, we hope you guys continue the rest of this uh, series along with us. Thanks for watching.